Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at some tips and tricks that I didn't know about until too late. Certainly, I would have preferred to have known about these a long time ago, but uh, now I know about them, I thought I'd pass them on to you. So there's five really good tips. So the first one is how to use the rulers. So obviously, we all know about using rulers. We go to view, rulers, and show guides, and it gives us our measurements across the top and down the side. But what happens when you get halfway through a document and you want to change the rulers? Um, the amount of times that I'm doing something in print and then I have to turn it into pixels for the web or for social media feeds. Now I can go to edit, preferences, general, units and change it from millimeters up here. But there's a quicker way. Whenever you're working and you've got your rulers available, if you right click in your ruler, you can change them up here. So it now goes to pixels, pikers, and back to millimeters. It's that simple. Did you know that in Illustrator, you can actually use math to make sure things are the size you want them? So if I've got a shape here, and I just simply want to make it twice as big, I can just do star two, and it will make it twice as big. Or if I want to divide it, I can do divide by two and it makes it to half as big and this also works in artboards so if you go to your artboard setting and you want to make your artboard half as big it will do that and then I go divide by two again do that so it's a really quick and easy way of multiplying and changing the size of your things with inside illustrator using maths Number three is how to copy and paste your illustrations without them all going to the same layer. So normally what would happen is if when you created your illustration and then you'll go copy, command C, and then paste, command V, what you end up with is all of the things on the same layer. So unlike this one where there's the blue square on the blue layer, the orange triangle on the green layer, and the, the pink circle on the red layer, these are all now on the same layer. So how do we do that without putting them all on the same layer? Well, it's dead simple. Instead of doing Control C, Control V, when you hold the Alt key down and drag, it duplicates and leaves everything on the same layer. So with the pink still on the pink layer, the blue still on the blue layer, orange still on the green layer. It's as simple as that. Have you ever spent ages trying to align something so that they're all they're both in the center of each other? And normally you'll use the align, things like that. But the problem with that is it moves everything around with it. What happens if we want to align that inside this square, the circle inside the square, but we don't want the square to move? Well, what we do is we select both of them. And this time we choose align to key object. And we select the key object we want it to align to, which is the square. Now, when we click this and this, the square stays in the same place and the circle moves inside it. Have you ever done something in Pathfinder when you move something inside your object, you do the minus front, and then later on you think, actually I could do with moving that a little bit to the side. And when you notice when you look in outline, there's nothing actually there. It's actually punched it completely out of the object. Well, if you use Alt when you do it, it'll keep it. So if we were to do the same thing again, select them both, Alt, minus front, it still looks the same, but if we look at the outline, we've still got the circle. So now, if we double click, we can move this inside and reposition it and get it exactly where we want it to. So it's exactly how we want it. And it's fully editable.